Hello everybody and welcome back to the trainee at Pemberton Farm. <laughs> so I've gathered all my hay bales and now it's time to make some silage. Uh, so what I have done, uh, I've leased myself this um, loading wagon. It's not the big one, but anyway, we have to start small. And what I also brought with me is a pallet of silage additives. Can't remember the exact numbers, but I think it's gonna improve the amount of grass with what is it, five or seven percent? So I need everything I I can get now. So Mike, the man, is my transport guy. Uh, let's see. Let's take off the strap, sir, and unfold this guy. There we go, and let's go and uh, grab ourselves a tractor. And that loading wagon requires 150 horsepower, and that's what this guy is. So, yeah, I, I had to lease something with the limitations on, on my tractors. Um, manually hay bale stacking. <laughs> so we got in total 28 bales there. So I think that was around 120,000 liters. Uh, so now it's going to be interesting to see how much uh, silage we're going to get. And I think I'm going to use the outer bunker silo, this guy here. Uh, it's easier to access and all of these. Um, Tom Pemberton himself, Mr... Uh, <laughs> I just call him Duracell Rabbit. He, he's working 20 hours a day, that's for sure. Let's see, there we go. Uh, let's get the help window on now, because we need to... Oh, there we go, refill loading wagon. Oh, there we go, I can fill it from here. Alright, 10 liters. Uh, the thing is that... Uh, Tom uh, went over on this field and mowed up this field also. But I'm a little bit uncertain on what to use it for. Um, should I make hay? Should I make silage? Um, I think I'm going to wait until we see how much uh, silage we're going to get out of this field. It's, it's always that ratio thing, you know. Um, I have a TMR mixer. And um, I'm pretty sure that you can have up to 75% with hay and 25% with silage. So oh, I should make more hay than silage, <laughs> if that makes sense. But we'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how much we get out of this um, and then you know we need to compact and everything but what I'm really you know, my aim is to um, my aim is to cover the bunker silo tonight before we go into September it's gonna take 48 hours to ferment so we need to uh, yeah we need to get going I'm just thinking, um, yeah, so that field there was around 120,000 liter. This one here, I would guess 150, 160,000 maybe. So yeah, I think, I think the uh, newest field which I mowed up, I'm gonna make hay. So we're gonna make more hay bales out of that. But first of all, silage. And do, 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 do. I'm just thinking for compacting. Oh yeah, for compacting. Um, uh, my money has gone down a little bit. I'm trying to be as open as possible, you know. I'm trying to do it as realistic as possible. But what I have done uh, down at the shop, I've leased this fellow here. So this cost me around $600 to lease. Uh, I had to use it for the silage additive um, 
pallet. But I've also leased myself this guy here, the Verbermt. This is a silage compactor. Requires 165 horsepower. So it's going to be on the limit of what I have. But at least I'm going to try it. There we go. We got 10,000 liter. Yeah. I think it's gonna improve the amount, the silage additive. I'm pretty sure I did a test video on that, more or less in the beginning, when the game first came out. There were a difference though between loading wagons and forage harvesters. But anyway, I'll see you at the bunker silage silo. Let's see, let's take the outer corner, sir. So, here we go. Um, it's always that question about how should I fill up the bunker silo. Um, some, they just fill it up to the top, uh, you know, the more the better inside and then build themselves outwards. I'm more of a fan of uh, making long strips like this. <laughs> it's easier to compact. Uh, I have no idea how much this bunker silo will hold. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for what I used to do with, you know, dumping out and driving forward. Let's see, let's line ourselves up there. Bam. And unload her. There we go. Oh, what's that in the front? Oh, that's probably a silage... Uh, the silage uh, b -b 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 bucket. Oh, there we go, okay. So that was 26,000. Um, alright, alright. Let's see, there we go, 26,000 litre. 0% compacted. You know what, I'm, I better move this uh, before I do something really... Stupid her. That's uh This actually had an unfolding um option. Uh so you know L1 fold telehandler. <laughs> Didn't know <notice. laughs> Didn't see that. I wonder how much this one will hold. Maybe a couple of thousand liter. So I've been down to the store, um, I've uh, picked up the um, compactor, um, I use Mike the man all the time, uh, so this guy here, um, it's a little bit heavy for my Ford and this one definitely doesn't have the horsepower to run it. So now it's lower down, but I have to have it lower down. Um, because if I raise it up like so, yeah, I'm going to tip over. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Can run it. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit heavy. Let's see. Let's lower it down. Uh, let's see if we can do some compacting. This maybe I should... Uh, yeah, I should have my weight on the front. I'm just a little bit curious to see if I can actually run it. There we go. Oh, don't tell me that weight is on the wrong. Oh, there. oh, there we go. Okay, let's try to balance it and raise that up. Oh. Oh, that's on the edge. I need some bigger weights. All right, let's see. <laughs> I'm gonna get stuck now, I'm pretty sure. Um, turn it on, lower it. We are at 14%. <laughs> I'm stuck already. Oh man, let's race it up. Let's get going, okay. Yeah, this is... Uh 
Yeah, okay. Now I'm really stuck. I was uh, opening my mouth too wide there, buddies. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I should do? Uh, I should disconnect this one. And maybe we can switch around her. The thing is, my fold is probably a little bit too small for the loading wagon. Let's see if we can run it. Insufficient power. Oh no, there we go. Yeah, 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 that's working. Alright. Now let's try this guy here. So yeah, I've, um, I haven't read any comments from the first episode yet. But uh, I've got some comment from my uh, Ebony Island. Uh, so just... Oh, come on. <laughs> I need to wait on this one also. Yeah, this is a little bit more powerful, but still on the edge. Oh, you're kidding me? Look at the compacting. Compacting 100%. What? Oh man, this compactor is efficient. So now it's just a matter of, you know, rolling it out. To, to make it a little bit more even, even Steven. But wow, okay, yeah, I, I know it's only 26,000 liters. But all right, all right, I think I'm gonna use this one. Um, could I? Disconnect that one and use that one on the Hurleyman. All right, let's get to try this one on the field. Let's see if we can run it. We need to get going before it gets dark. All right, let's see here now. Uh, I want that one. Cruise control on. There we go. Yeah, this is working. 136 horsepower on 150 horsepower loading wagon. Alright, I'm gonna sit back. I'm gonna put on some music and I'll see you a bit later, I think. There we go. I got a hundred, no, two hundred and one thousand liter, and it's finished, compacted, and fairly okay. Nothing on the outside, uh, nothing clipping through here, so it seems to be all right. Um, so now at least I know uh, roughly that I'm getting around a hundred and twenty thousand from this field. And a hundred, no, two hundred thousand from this field. Now, bear in mind, none of these fields were fertilized when we started. So, you know, next thing now, maybe tomorrow, is that uh, we need to pull out some uh, <laughs> some slurry from here um, and do some fertilizing. But I can at least now blanket silo. Boop. There we go. Ferment thing silage zero percent so i guess that's it's either 24 or 48 hours but anyway uh, before we uh, go to bed uh, my good friend uh, mr um, mike the man remember you know he said something to me so we need to go down to the shop
So, the thing that Mike the man inside here mentioned to me is that, you know, I have three cows in three different indoor sheds now. And they don't have anything. They don't have any food. They don't have any straw. Uh, I was putting them there for testing purposes. But then this guy here said, you need to take care of your animals. He's from Ireland. So what I've done, I, I bought myself some uh, straw bales uh, for bedding. I think that's allowed. And these bales there are, uh, you know, that that's 20,000 liter. But it's pretty, uh, what should I say, it's pretty light, so to speak. Let's see, let's see if we can get all of these in there. Like so. And then... We need to get this one back onto the trailer. Come on, buddy. Let's. Uh, I'll, I really hope the tension belts are long enough now. Oh yeah, there we go. So yeah, I can I can put some uh, straw uh, bedding for those three cows and just give them a, a bale or two with uh, some hay. And then I can go to bed. Or oh, maybe there's one more thing. Oh yeah, you know what? Uh, yeah, there is one more thing before I go to bed. But now at least I know I need to make some more hay. Uh, because, you know, we... Oh. belts on, off. Fold it. Yeah, alright. See you back at the farm. I like this Mike the man guy. The Irish truck driver. Alright, let's see now. Uh, hopefully these uh, indoor sheds will uh, take bales. Oh, you know, I have the, sh the bale shredder. Which I personally, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Because it's... That's probably one of the equipment that I might change out. Uh, the reason is that it's really hard to load. Yeah, so this guy, where did I put it now? This guy here. This is uh, a little bit difficult to load because, um, yeah, you need to open that back one there. And you're supposed to back into the bale. But yeah, I, I need to find myself something else. Well, all depends on if this one takes bales directly. But you know, I really want to do the uh, bale shredding. Uh, you know, to blow out the, <laughs> the uh, straw. Ooh, camera collision. Come on, suck it in. Nice. You're kidding, right? Almost uh, the straw trigger. Was that here? Uh, what am I getting? Uh, new shed straw zero. Ah, oh, shoot the maker. All right, all right. Now I know. So yeah, this one here, um, oh. let's see, let's see how now, uh, I need to open it, some, yeah, so how it should work is that you just have it like so, and you just drive into the bale, but I'm, I'd never get that to work. <laughs> let's try, let's uh, see if we can do it. Let's take one of those bales here. And yeah, this is gonna be the wrong way anyway. But anyway, you get the knife. 
You get to the, uh, you get that. Yeah, that's my English perfect. Um, yeah, so either way, if it's this way, oh, there we go. So now you see that the bale is just rolling away, and it's yeah, it's impossible to load them like this. Or if there are any buttons I'm missing now, uh, unload here, no. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So, <laughs> so I'm what I'm usually doing here. I I just lift it up like so, disconnect it. Oh man, I need some kind of uh, other arrangement there. Let's push this one away. Uh, let's get that one in. Like so, there we go. Don't push it, don't touch it. Now, it's going to be also a good indication on how much uh, it's going to take. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Close gently. There we go. Start overloading. Ah, there we go. I'm guessing it's pretty much... Let's see now, that's 4,000 liter. Yeah, it's barely showing. <laughs> I could probably, that's probably uh, 50,000 liter with straw in her. All right, but anyway, I need to give uh, her a bail and her a bail. And uh, what I'm also gonna do, I'm gonna give them uh, a bale of hay. And then I'll see you tomorrow, I guess. So, oh, there, I'm on the really wrong path there. Let's go. No, no, no. Um, it's tight. <laughs> all right, all right. I, I need to. I, you know, it's all about uh, finding some routine cell now on uh, how to do it. And yeah, Mr. FS Landscaping, uh, like I said, he meant, he messaged, messaged me a couple of times on YouTube. Uh, and you know, I, I had a question about uh, lights and lights inside the sheds. And currently he has not been able to, to link them up yet. Uh, there are lights somewhere. Yeah, you can see there are lights. But um, I guess it's some coding and yeah, so he's not right there yet. But uh, he is also doing some updates as we speak, and the updates is no new same requirement, if that makes sense. Um, one of the things I asked him for was um, uh, if he could make it possible to, um, you know, remove some of the buildings and maybe some of the um, um, fences. Uh, so he's looking into that. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, there were a couple of things actually, and he's actually gonna start to do it. Let's see the old shed. Oh, there is the capacity is lower. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Morning, good morning. So, I'm just up, but uh, this guy here, the uh, Pemberton Senior, uh, Ginger, he's been up since 5.30 this morning, 
and he has made some more hay <laughs> so he's a really early bird um, so we need to windrow and uh, make some more hay bales um, as you probably saw in the short clip um, uh, I did uh, what should I say uh, I did some improvement when it comes to um, straw bale shredding I just use my TMR mixer so yeah I'm thinking maybe just buy myself uh, one more of these TMR mixers because they are I think they're just 5,000 oh you know what how are we looking with uh, silage how much how much 59% fermented. Ooh. So then it's not 48 hours. Then it's more like 24 hours. Alright, alright. I'll take it. Um, I've also found some manure this morning. <laughs> I know. It's not the most, uh, you know, excited thing but uh, now at least I know where the manure is gonna poop up let's see let's turn you off uh, I parked my tractors down here so down here on the floor here for the in inside the new cow shed here is where the manure is gonna pop up uh, in the old yeah I know I'm jumping over fences there in the uh, old cow shed the manure will pop up here which is pretty handy and for the uh, side shed you know i forgot one thing last night but anyway uh where have, uh, yeah inside here so we got three manure places which is uh yeah pretty good i don't know why we have two Maybe one is for taking out manure and one is for slurry underneath here. Because slurry is the one that we're going to use today. Uh, but you know, I have a lot of milk and slurry already. 48,000 liters of slurry. A little bit manure. But I have, let's see here, 29... No, that's straw. <laughs> 30,000 liters of milk. Which is divided uh, all over the place here. So what I think I'm going to start the day with is... I'm going to use... You know what? I'm going to use this guy here. There's so many gates. I, uh, you know, uh, but you know, you're only learning by doing. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm still figuring out where to drive and where not to drive. But I think I'm going to use this little fellow here to uh, fill up the milk tanker maybe there are milk inside it already who knows there we go no zero liter um, so yeah I I don't <laughs> I don't have any clue where milk is uh, I've seen one trigger oh I left the gate open here uh, I've seen one trigger over here this seems like maybe a milk trigger. Let's see if, oh, there we go. Start filling. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, so that seven didn't fill it up. Seven thousand liter. Uh, but there should be. Oh, can I get through there? Let's go in the helicopter. Uh, can we get through here? No. Maybe that's a milk trigger, or this one. But yeah, I see. I empty. I got a problem now. Well, not a problem, but I have. Um, I have. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, wow! <laughs> How in the world? I can't back in here. That's too tight. Let's see if I get the trigger up now to... Oh, there we go! Start overloading milk! Oh yeah, oh yeah! Let's get into the dairy! 
Well, that would be cool if you could see the milk pouring into her. Uh, the dairy trigger is just in here, in my office, or Tom Pemberton's office. Bam! There we go, so now we got the milk inside. So, but yeah, what should I make? Butter or cheese? I have no idea. Um, it's just going to be a nice side uh, thing to do. So I think I'm going to put it on butter and storing. And the triggers for, well, the spawn point for pallets is here. So there we go. That's a nice thing to check in the morning. Let's see. <laughs> how am I getting out of here? And how am I gonna get out of here? Come on, please, please make the turn, make the turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. And I need to make a wide. Oh, okay, yeah, there we go. It's all about finding uh, routines on the new map. Uh, is this slurry, maybe? Yeah, this is probably slurry. I'm not getting any fill triggers up here. Let's see if the one on the back here is a milk trigger. Maybe this one. Start filling. There we go. Nine for certain. Manure? How in the world is this tanker here taking manure? 106 liter with manure. Oh no! <laughs> it's <laughs> it's on the back of the Mahindra. Ah, oh, all right, all right. <laughs> okay, that. Ooh, ooh. Okay, let's see. Oh, there we go. Start filling. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, six thousand liter from there. Okay, and I'm gonna find the trigger for the new shed. I'm gonna fill up the dairy. And uh, next thing will be uh, some slurry spreading. Oh yeah, some stinking slurry spreading. Let's see, I'm just curious to see where the milk trigger is there. Is it this one? Start filling. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Alright, alright, we got it. May whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe I'm gonna find myself to uh, find a space uh, or an area to, uh, you know, collect all my manure. Maybe this was a little bit too <laughs> small for that. This big tanker is <laughs> really struggling. But anyway, all right, I'll see you in a bit and uh, let's do some slurry spreading. So, um, yeah, I filled up my, well, there's one thing, actually. Uh, I filled it up now with 20,000 liters of milk. Uh, but looking in my inventory, I still got 9,000 liters. And uh, I've emptied out this one now for milk. I've emptied this for milk and this. And, yeah, I can't find any more milk triggers. So yeah, I wonder where the last 9,000 liter with milk is. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm starting to wondering if it's these guys there. Oh, these have been uh, increased in value. They were 1,200. Now they are 1,900. Uh, but uh, on these guys, it says zero milk. And yeah, no, we're not going to get any bull juice out of those. Uh, but anyway, um, so if you know where the last milk is, let me know in the comment section. I found these two uh, spots there and I got the start filling trigger. What's also pretty cool with this slurry spreader, you know, I never use slurry spreaders. But if I go L1 and R, R stick, you can do like so. You know, you can simulate that you're actually digging down to the ground and filling slurry. <laughs> Even though it's not a thing. Oh, there we go. Oh man, that's full. There we go. 
Um, now this slurry spreader here um, came with the new farmer equipment and it says the tanker and the sprayer itself requires 190 horsepower and yeah I don't have 190 horsepower and I don't think any of the start equipment on new farmer either has 190 horsepower <laughs> so this could be an interesting one uh, but anyway my grass field needs fertilizer uh, as we see here now uh, after we mowed it it's got one stage yeah I don't have position farming um, oh wow what's this is that stones Ooh. Do we have a lot? Do I own this area? No. Maybe some free stone, sir. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's. Uh, okay. Uh, why is it turned on? Unfold slurry sprayer. Uh, unfold slurry distributor. Yeah, like I said, I never use slurry spreaders. But since I'm going. Uh, eco-friendly here now uh, let's see is it turned on <laughs> turn on slurry tanker bam and this one turn off slurry tank okay I need my mini map here now no I don't see if I'm oh wow I don't see where I'm fertilizing oh shoot this is gonna be interesting I don't see anything. What? How was this even possible in real life? I get. I I know uh, some of you guys, real life farmers, have uh, you know um, GPSs and things inside, but not in this hole, man. I need to go. Uh, oh, oh man, that's some bad. Oh shoot! I don't need to fertilize on the outdoor part there. But yeah, this is uh, well. At least my hurleman is uh, pulling it. But wow, my front wheels are flying. I can feel. But yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna need the help of workers, sir, because it's more or less impossible to see where the slurry is, um, where <laughs> I haven't been. I need to double check this all the time. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, okay. I'm used to uh, 45 meters spreading width on solid fertilizer. And uh, now I'm down here to what, 6 meters? But okay, okay. Well, um, I'll take the time <laughs> for helping out there now. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to hire a worker. Because this is because that if not, I'm gonna really be struggling here. I'm on the outer part of the field here. Why is oh, okay? Why do I need to fertilize the uh, periphery grass? It hasn't been plowed there. Hmm. And we already used half of the capacity. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna hire a worker on this, and I need to get going on the other um, hay field. We need to do some more baling. Yeah. Let's see now. Let's uh, try to line him up. Uh, maybe. Oh, now I can see a difference. Okay, if I turn the lights off. Oh man, this is gonna hurt my 46-year-old eyes. Let's see, can I hire a worker? Oh no, why do I have buying on? 
No, no, that's cheating. Um, let's see, where is it? There. Uh, everything. Ooh. No, 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 off, 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 and off. There we go. All right, so you keep on going there, buddy. Let's check the map. All right, all right. And I'm gonna jump to uh, where are there, buddy? This guy here. And I need to win row uh, the hay. Yeah, that's some cozy work in the morning. And I guess during, maybe during the day, maybe late today, that's gonna be ready. And then, you know, the next step will be to um, start to produce some uh, TMR. And once I got some TMR going, I can bring in my cows for the winter. And I haven't even started on my big fields yet. I, I was uh, watching one of Tom Pemberton's, um, you know, summer videos uh, yesterday. And when they are doing big uh, mowing operations and silage operations, there's actually contractors coming to do it for them. You know, there's coming people which are mowing and baling and all these things. I could also do that, but then, you know, I need to lease the equipment. And uh, my money is not that great yet. <laughs> I have to be a little bit careful. So yeah, more hay bales. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for episode 2. Uh, as I said, um, there's some slow processes here. And it takes a hot minute to do uh, things with small equipment. So it's not all episodes that's going to be um, that interesting. But it's just the way it is. It's just the way I've set up this Let's Play. So, yeah, hope you enjoy it. And if you have any comments or tips on this map, leave it in the comment section. And thanks again, FS Landscaping, for helping out. And hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.